you go to several meetings, several discussions around soft architecture, like we need to overwrite the architecture of this product. We need to create a new product, so let's discuss more the architecture. However, we have no idea what exactly soft architecture is. So keep here, this video is for you. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Otavio Santana, and if you are a software engineer or architect who wants to increase your skill and become more effective and productive, welcome to the Ultimate Sophisticated Engineer team. Give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, okay, let's answer that question. What is soft architecture at all? Because when I go to those books, everybody has your unique definition. And guess what? Those definitions are fine. And those definitions make sense. Uh, those books here are my favorite books around the topic, around soft architecture. And I usually recommend that when I need to do some mentorship or some consulting service should go deep. So just enough soft architecture where we need to talk about the risk driven inside uh, an organization. Clean architecture has become the more popular one. Soft architecture for developers where Simon Brown mentioned the C4 model and your own definition and philosophy of soft design. The fundamentals of soft architecture where it has my favorite, my favorite part is the laws. So the first one is everything has a trade-off. There is no perfect world or solution inside soft architecture and soft decision. And the why is more important than the how. Uh, New Ford has more books like the soft architecture, the hard part, evolution of architecture, and uh, the metric inside soft architecture. And it's a new one, you might for his name because he wrote two popular books around microservice. He wrote also your own definition around soft architecture. Those definitions are right. Okay, let's summary those definition here. Uh, the soft architecture is the hard part inside the software. Is a collection of designs. Um, it's a, a long-term software development, okay? Those definitions are fine, at least on my opinion. But answer your question, I have my own definition based on those books plus my experience. For me, software architecture is a mix of both. It is when I merge the software perspective with the people perspective when people meet software development. Why? Because it doesn't matter how good I am as a developer or software engineer. If my organization puts several traps and make it hard to do a good, a good job, um, my software will reflect that. Please remember the Conway's law, okay? It's important. And the architecture for me, is when I mix both. Especially because when I will talk more around uh, strategic points inside my software. On DDD, I'm talking about bounded context, map context, ambiguous language, of course, the integration between teams. For example, if I have a, an organization with 100 engineers, it doesn't make sense to have a single team. I need to break down a small piece uh, like squad or by specialization. And if I decide to go by specialization and I have my mobile team and my backend team, they should be capable to communicate between those. So soft architecture should go to this point. Okay, how can I communicate my server with my mobile or microservice, 
Uh, how can I make sure that everybody can stand using documentation like Swagger, Open API, and stuff like that, or gRPC, and so on? Soap, why not? Uh, nostalgic here. And remember, if you have a use team, it doesn't make sense. A use team is not effective. Try to break down a small piece like the two pizza rule. So, two pizza must be enough to feed a team between eight and nine. And especially because, on my opinion, the soft architecture, like I said, should go on the strategic resource inside the organization where you need to, to merge technology with people. And the soft architecture should handle the scalability in several ways. Not only the number of instance or the number of servers, but the culture inside the organization, the bar quality inside the organization. So scalability is much beyond the buzzword. It's handle a gram amount. A single point of failure. Okay, it might be a database, yes, but might be a, a person. We need to make sure that there is, uh, there is a breakdown of silos of technology, the culture, the methodology, and the technology, and the technology itself. That's my opinion around soft architecture. As I said, I have my favorite books on the topics and mixed with my experience. But I'm here for you. How about you? What do you understand about soft architecture? Do you have another book to recommend? around this topic, please let me know your opinion on it. And of course, if you enjoy, please give the like and subscribe in the channel.